This is the second time I've commented on this video today. The first time I did a video, I started off slow, and I was trying to tell this lady, she's a very cute young sister, and I was trying to point out why brothers go to the other route. Somehow during the process of this, um, right at the 10 minute mark, the timer went off. So I finished up what I was saying, I hit the stop button. And that's where it stopped, it just stopped. It never stopped, it just, you know. So then I was waiting and I was waiting and I was waiting and about 30 minutes later it was still going through its process. So I opened up the window on another box, I'm seeing if it's gone up, and it didn't. So now I'm going to try to do this video over. I hate that, do-overs. Do-overs always don't have the thrust and velocity and the feel as the original. Um, I don't write any of my shit down, so don't expect it to have the fire and brimstone like it did in the first time. What I generally said in that video is what I say in all these videos. Why black men date other races? Black relationships, this lady had. Black men date other races because of this main number one factor. When you grow up in a neighborhood, you see a certain group of women. You see a certain kind of women. These women carry themselves the same way every single day. You have sisters, and they have a mother, and they may carry themselves in the same pattern. And if so, then the black man tends to gravitate towards the bad woman. Therefore, that's all he's going to be wanting. He's going to want a better woman, but he's just going to gravitate to these women that he always see. Therefore, you see a group of women carrying themselves in a manner that's less than glamorous, then you're not going to want to go after that kind of woman or that type of woman. I see in this video, you're a heavyset woman. You're a pretty lady. First of all, I look at you and I see a very beautiful face. And I also see an ugly face. Now, I'm, you're not ugly. But I can see you getting ugly. And look at you. You, looking ugly, ain't going to be cool at all to any man. Me, looking ugly, is not going to, you know, appease to any woman. What I'm trying to say in that, I'm not calling you ugly. I don't want to be taken out of this context, uh, misconstrued. What I'm trying to say is this. No matter how pretty you are, no matter what you got, you can be skinnier than a stick, whatever. It doesn't matter. If a man loves you for your eyes, he's going to be there for your eyes. If he loves you for your hands, he's going to be there for your hands. If he loves you for the way you hug him, he's going to be there for that hug. But if when you turn ugly, you erase all that beauty by turning ugly. If you turn ugly one day a week, he gonna see that shit all week because if he does something screwed up once in a week, the average black woman will let you hear this shit all week. Okay, I screwed up Monday. It's Monday now. I still got to hear about what happened last week. Let that shit go. A lot of sisters don't do that. And, now here's the kicker. Now when you find a man that you like, what do you do? But how do you question him? I remember I went out with this one girl, and um, I think we had went on, we went out twice. The third time we went out, she's talking about, um, well, uh, you got to go do this, and you got to go do that. We just seeing each other. I got to go do shit now to be with you? I got to go, I got to do shit to be with you? You know, I mean, it, once that happened, I was, man, as pretty as she was, I don't want to fuck with her no more. Excuse my language. I don't want to kick it with her no more. Cause I, I got to go prove that I'm the same person I was three days ago. In every relationship, the woman changes and the man changes. The person you meet is not the person that you end up with. And if so, you're one lucky woman. If so, he's one lucky man. But women change. Say, for instance... Your man don't want to go to church with you Sunday. He's sitting at home Sunday watching the game. A couple of the boys come over. You come home from church. You're pissed off because his boys are sitting up in your house. 11 o'clock in the morning drinking beer watching a damn football game. You're not happy. Do you say, hey, baby, 
Um, y'all hungry or something? Want some snacks or something? You don't say that. Because you don't want to cook for him or his friends now. Because he didn't want to go to church with you. And he's sitting up with this nobody guy. And you will drag that shit on him till next Sunday. Black women do that shit. They're not quick to let shit go. And a black man is. We might start arguing at 1 o'clock. About 1.45. I'm not even going there no more. I'm not even trying to hit. And if I'm bringing it up, it's because it hurt my feelings. But trust me, by the time I put my head on that pillow, I'm not mad at you because you can't do no wrong. Black women, on the other hand, are different. They forgive us. You're nice to us. You're all nice and shit. And everybody happy and smiling. And we finna go do something else. And you bring that shit up. Bam! Shatter the happiness. Or you'll come out with a one-liner uh, in front on your man and make him look shitty. Or... You will side with the child instead of your husband. I've seen that personally. <laughs> you know. So the moral of the story is this. Black men are dating other races because. Because. They have seen so many sisters act up and act stupid. So instead of trying to sift through the sisters and deal with the bullshit. Finding a beautiful one. Just like yourself, a beautiful sister. And when you get mad, you turn completely ugly. The beautiful face is gone. Then he can see you heavy. He can see you heavy set now. First, he couldn't see it. And it doesn't matter if you're heavy set or not. But he can see this. He said, I'm going with her. All this time, she heavy. When she turned ugly, she turned real ugly, and I can't look at it. Another thing black women and this is the kicker here baby um when you decide not to give your man sex and you know thinking it's oh, shit I ain't gonna give him none that's the worst thing you can ever do because if, if you don't want to give him sex and you know f for whatever reason you don't want to have sex with your own man somebody else does want to have sex with your man and if he go there, you're going to be like, oh, that motherfucker was cheating on me. You're not giving it up because you you think by not giving it up, he'll he'll uh, wash the car. Or he'll make up the bed when he gets out of it. He'll clean up his, his room, you know, by not giving him sex. Well, trust me. If you're not giving your man sex and he ain't fucking nobody else, he's tired. He's so tired, he would rather just, you know, fuck it. And once you get to that point, you fucked up. You've completely fucked up. Because if you're not giving your man sex and he's fucking somebody, it's because, shit, I'm on something else. Because I need this. I'm sorry. I know you're going to throw me out and shit. Bam, he get his shit and he's gone. Fuck it. He's like, oh, that motherfucker, no, I did everything for him, oh. But then, like I said, if you not giving your man sex because of this or that, and you think it's going to make him change and, and do whatever you want, and if he's not screwing nobody and you're not giving him sex, he's tired. He is so tired that he's just there. And when he's just there, it's not going to matter if you're pretty or not. He's just dealing with you because he can deal with you. He can put up with you when other men would have just left your ass fucking hanging. See what I'm saying? So he's not going out to, to date a black woman uh, to screw another woman or, or cheat on you. He's sitting at home because he's the only man that can deal with you and put up with you. And black women fail to understand that shit. If you got a man and you say, he's motherfucker sitting around doing nothing. I don't even fuck him no more. And he's he just still there. It's because he's tired of you. And this is his payback. This is how he's getting even with your ass because I'm just going to fucking be here. And when she's finally done with me, I'm going to roll out and drive back with something new, and she going to be mad. That's how they think. That's how we think. So when you women try to withhold sex for this or that, that backfires. When you try to change the man, that backfires. And you have to better yourself in order to find a better man. Black men only date outside their race when they get tired of their race. They've seen too many negative sisters, and they don't want to try to look through the rest of the sisters left to find a positive one. You always start out positive, but you end up negative. Be your man's woman and not his mama.